Hey Geeks, Jim from MajorGeeks.com, hijacking the channel from Tim. Can't let him have all the fun all the time. Uh, I ran into a little problem with my new uh, Windows 10 computer. I had installed a copy of my Office 2007 Professional on it. And uh, yeah, I know it's old, but hey, it's paid for. I'm cool with that. And uh, every time I start one of the Office programs, it will launch a configuration window uh so you know word starts up but this office professional configuration progress will start every time i start the application now once word starts going or excel starts going it works fine until you close it but then this configuration process uh happens again uh, i ran through a number of documents with all these complicated registry hacks which were per version of office and so hence hard to explain but reading a microsoft knowledge base i came across a fairly easy trick that uh, anybody can do for any version of office and it works so all you do is you open up your your uh, oh there you go there you go yeah, microsoft uh, office only took a minute to open um, you just open your file explorer and what you want to look for is on your C drive just go to program files or program files x86 depending on your version of office it's going to be one of those two in my case it's in program files x86 and from there you want to go to common files and then you want to look for Microsoft shared under Microsoft shared you want to go to office 12 in my case and then under Office Setup Controller. Under here, you have a setup.exe. And you just rename it to something like setup.gym or setup.old or whatever you like. All right? And you want to change it. You can change it to setup.exe gyms. You can set it to whatever you want. Doesn't matter as long as you can remember if you need to put it back. And then uh, just close that out. You're good to go. And now, when you open up Microsoft Word, you can see, boom, there she be. And the same goes for your Excel spreadsheet. In this case, I've got the SD Dole 32 error, and I'll show you in the next video as to how to fix that one. But uh, that's how you get rid of the configuration progress window in Microsoft Office. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.